As residents begin to enjoy all the new amenities now open in Dodge Park, the next phase of recreating recreation is now underway. On Tuesday, July 3rd, a groundbreaking was held on the property where the new community center will be built. The 98,000 square foot building, which will be located on Dodge Park Road, across from the library and police station, will house two gymnasiums, five dance and fitness rooms, and serve as home to a majority of the parks and recreation programming. One, two, three. All right. Well, I couldn't be happier. You know, the, the park has been so well received by everybody. Uh, all of the park improvements that we did at the neighborhood parks the last year and to see now the groundbreaking happening and uh, the crown jewel of uh, our parks and recreation initiative is uh, going to start taking shape. It's really exciting. I, I can't wait. Sterling Heights, this has been such a great new time for us in the city. We are 50 years old here in the city and the, we've got the splash pad that has been completely packed since it's been opened, the skate park, the farmer's market was jammed, the, the vendors were so excited. This has been an exciting time. I've had so many people coming up to me telling me how thankful they are that this has happened. Now we're breaking ground on the new rec center and this, this completes our pro most of our projects. We still have to work on some of the parks to tweak them, but this will bring in everybody else who hasn't had something in the parks for them. We have the indoor pickleball, basketball, walking track. This is going to be for everyone who needs a recreational facility. This is your facility. We are so excited. So congratulations to Sterling Heights. You guys did this. You voted for this. We're just here to help it come to fruition, and we're so very excited. This has been a very exciting time for Sterling Heights. We're 50 years old. We have some plans as far as our parks and recs are concerned, improving our neighborhood parks, improving Dodge Park, splash pad, soccer fields, tennis courts, you name it. And it looks absolutely fantastic. The residents are going to really enjoy this. Now we're working on the recreational building that we have wanted for many, many years. So today was very exciting. Shovel full of dirt, broke the ground, now we're ready to build. And I know the residents are going to enjoy this for many, many years. It is going to give activities for the young, middle class, and the seniors too. So everyone is going to enjoy this. I'm looking forward to it. How exciting is this? This is actually the final brick in the, in the whole crux of recreating recreation. And without the residents giving us the support and the backing in this, this um, wonderful program. It would never have come to fruition. So um, an exciting day. We had so much excitement and so many people at Dodge Park last week. Next year when this opens, I anticipate that this is going to be one of the best utilized buildings in the city. So really super excited and thankful to all the residents of the city. Last week we certainly had a great crowd with the reopening of Dodge Park and certainly it was very successful. And Actually, we hear nothing but positive remarks from the residents that came out because it was just a wonderful, wonderful day. Today, we start a new phase, but we have to remember that this isn't just the vision of the current council, that there were people that served with us um, probably decades ago that had this vision, but the opportunity wasn't there. So we went through the economic crisis, I can remember Rich Bracci sitting next to me and wanting a rec center. I can remember before I was on council, I remember Jay Pollard wanted a splash park. So we are now bringing all of this to fruition, but if it wasn't for the residents, we couldn't do it. We've got great planning behind us, we've got great administration, and we certainly have a council that works together. But if it wasn't for the residents and their willingness to pay for this, we wouldn't have it. So again, I thank the residents for all that they're doing to make Sterling Heights a better place to live, work, and certainly to play.